What is up, NFL fans? Welcome back to the channel, Rivas Talk Sports. In this video, I will be giving you my top five spread picks for week four. For those who have been following the channel in last week's spread picks video, we went three and five. And if you go over 50% for the week, that is good enough for me. So with the first game that I will be talking about is the Pittsburgh Steelers versus the Indianapolis Colts. The Colts have one of the worst rush defenses in the NFL as they've given up the most rushing yards per game out of all NFL teams and the Steelers are top three in run play percentage. I expect the Steelers to ground and pound and Justin Fields to be a dual threat in this game. The Colts did win their first game against the Chicago Bears. I trust Mike Tomlin and the Pittsburgh Steelers in this team than I do with Chicago Bears. So give me the Steelers minus one and a half and they remain undefeated after week four. Next game, Texans versus the Jacksonville Jaguars. The Jacksonville Jaguars got embarrassed on Monday night football and the Houston Texans lost to the Minnesota Vikings. With that being said, I will be selecting the Texans minus six and a half at home. The Jaguars have one of the worst pass rush defenses and one of the worst passing defenses in the NFL. The Texans are pissed off from that Vikings loss. They're coming home. I think they'll take all of their frustrations out against the Jaguars. I do not see the Jaguars winning in this game. And if you don't have exceptional pass rush ability or passing defense, good luck trying to beat the Texans. Give me the Texans minus six and a half. Buccaneers versus the Philadelphia Eagles. The Eagles took down the New Orleans Saints and the Buccaneers loss to the Denver Broncos. With that being said, give me the Buccaneers at plus one and a half. I do think that the Eagles may win this game outright, but I do expect the Buccaneers to keep this game close and potentially win this game outright. This Both teams are dealing with injuries on, on each side, um, but it's up in the air if Devontae Smith is going to play, A.J. Brown is going to play, Johnson's going to play. So the Eagles are definitely hurt on offense and the Buccaneers are hurt on defense. But I do trust Baker in this spot to keep this game close. Mike Evans, Chris Godwin, Bucky Irvin, Rashad White. I do expect this offense to take advantage of this Philadelphia Eagles secondary. The Buccaneers keep it close. Don't know if they win outright, but I'll take the points since Baker Mayfield has came to Tampa Bay. They have one, they have been one of the best teams to cover as underdogs. Give me the Buccaneers at plus one and a half. Next, we have the Los Angeles Rams versus the Chicago Bears. I'll be very honest with you. I'm not too sure what I'm missing in this game, but I'm very surprised that the Rams are underdogs in the spot. The Colts lost to a winless. I'm sorry, the Bears lost to a winless Colts team and the Rams had a nice come from behind victory against the 49ers. I trust Matthew Stafford in this game to take control as a quarterback. Then I trust Caleb Williams in this spot. I do expect Stafford to sling the ball and keep this game close and potentially get the upset over the Chicago Bears. Give me the Rams at plus three. I like this number. I like this spot. So give me the Rams at plus three. Last but not least, Buffalo Bills versus the Baltimore Ravens. The Ravens finally got their first win in the season against the Dallas Cowboys and the Buffalo Bills embarrassed the Jacksonville Jaguars on primetime. Give me the Bills at plus two and a half. Josh Allen has been an exceptional player when the spotlight is on him. He plays well on prime time. The Bills are undefeated. Great defense, great pass protection. I do expect Josh Allen to continue to be the MVP candidate in this game and pull his team together. I don't know who will win this game outright. I think the Ravens have a lot of motivation on their side because if they go one and three, the season is going to get a little shaky, and then the Bills are going to want to keep their undefeated season alive. But give me the Bills at plus two and a half. Even if the Bills don't win outright, I do expect the Bills to keep this game close as they've been such a solid team this year, especially from the offseason moves that they've had. Josh Allen, the MVP candidate, keeps his team close. Potential win, but give me the Buffalo Bills at plus two and a half. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed the content, please give the video a thumbs up and comment below on your spread picks for week four. Thank you so much and catch you guys next week.